too long back. <laughs> Why don't I don't think so. Why don't your bicycles have pedals? Because they call them scooters. When that back then, they're supposed to have bicycles, but the young folks don't get them anymore. They can't do nothing. Now, that guy that was helping these people and he owns the farm where we're going to. Oh, well, okay. his son might own it. And uh, one guy will make the windows and doors, one guy will make the wheel, one guy will make the top. And then they buy them and put them together. But they're not cheap anymore. A new buggy like the buggy got from seven to eight thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. And oh, if you get a, yeah. if you want a good horse, you're talking about from two to six thousand. The harness is from five to six hundred. So it's not cheap anymore on a horse and buggy. Let's do the Sharon, I am the Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, comes from our birthday song is Solomon. It's the eight point star, and these quilts, they're all wide enough, they're, they're about commercial king size, they're wide enough about 20 inch drop on each side, plus they have a pillow tuck on the top, so you don't need the sham. There's a post sham, it puts 8,000 pieces in there. There's a Boston Lone Star. Here's a a log cabin load, sorry, log cabin, old pattern. The Underground Railroad came through this area. A lot of the Amish and Mennites were involved in it, right through Christiana, uh, as were the Quakers, a lot of the Quakers. And supposedly, depending on the log cabin, if it was hanging out, depending what colors it was in, it was safe to come in. So, a lot of tradition that uh, log cabin pattern. This is a wake road. Here's a Lincoln car. You've seen this already. Uh, we kind of pride ourselves in everything being locally made. Nothing against China, but you can buy that at Walmart. So we stick with, like the Melvin's Up family makes it for. These are pillows. They're very popular here for the Amish. And then you take it apart, and then you got a quilt. Yep. So, <laughs> great place to stick your feet in there. And the big old quilt, then the hard part's wrapping it up. But you do it thirds, <laughs> thirds, and then half and half. Melvin's Up family makes the ports. Amish family down the road. They have seven kids. One kid does ruffles, one does a piecing, one does the knot. And you grab it there and pull it through. And then you got a pillow again. So that's a great yeah, little thing. So like the baskets are behind the Amish family. Eleven children. That's how they support themselves, making the baskets. How much the asking for? So adorable. Come here, babe. 